right, back again here. Um, all right, I I milled both sides of the cylinder uh, flat. Then I took it over to the surface plate with some uh, 320 uh, sandpaper, just polished that up a bit. So the height of this now is uh, one inch and 125 thousandths. Now next step is we have to bore this out for um, a half inch diameter hole. So um, I'm going to try to center this uh, somewhat. This is, um, let's see what we can do with this here. Uh, this is roughly a hundred, it's about a hundred, one inch and thirty thousandths. Um, so that means the radius of this would be um, half inch, uh, uh, 515 thousandths. So I have an edge finder on here. I'll pick up the edge, uh, go in 515, and pick up this edge and go in 515 thousandths. And that should be pretty much in the center uh, of this uh, casting uh, where the uh, cylinder bore should be.
right, so that should be roughly. This is kind of vague. Um, that's going to be close to the center. Uh, let me throw a dial indicator on there and see what we can come up with. Okay, so I centered this uh, as best I could. I picked up the edge inside here. I did that off camera. I picked up the edge here and div divided the space between the jaws. Uh, came up with 500. The, the space between these jaws is one inch uh, and 20 thousandths. So half that distance is 510 thousandths. Almost another hundred thousand to go, so uh, it's going to be a little while. the last pass for the cylinder. Uh, let me get this out of the way. Okay, so I've got my snap gauge here. Let's get a reading on that. If we can get this in the camera here. Four ninety nine and a half a thousand and uh